Hello and welcome to their first impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. Today we're taking a look at a free-to-play browser-based hero game called Hero Smash. This is best I could describe it as a cross between a brawler and an action RPG, playable in a browser with a hero setting. Very kind of cartoony enemy style, hence you can see the huge heads, big eyes, etc. Going through making a character right here, and then we're going to hop into the game, check out a little bit of the gameplay. Going through seeing some of the different options. A little bit of a load time here. You can see you got actually a decent amount of customization for a browser game. Eh? Quite a bit. You can hair color, skin, eyes, gender, and then three other choices for your colors, for your costume, and then all of these different sliders here. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in the game and see how it looks. And here is the starting zone. As soon as we get out, yes, I did make a robot. A hero robot with huge eyes. And then end up going with a little bit of a different look in the end. So the basic UI here, we're looking at the news board, which holds all our info. Here is the world map showing us where we can go. This area is intended for levels 1 through 5. So this is the little starter zone. Kind of reminds me a bit of... An old TV show, maybe uh, the intro to Saints Row 4, you know, that kind of thing. And then suddenly, robots that kill birds. So there are cinematics, I didn't see a way to skip them, so we're gonna go through them. They're pretty quick. I can pop out here, they're everywhere. And let's get into the game. So we do have click to move, not right click, the sub browser, careful with that. And then you can choose, do you want to be a good guy or a bad guy? And then you go back and do the missions based on that. Me, I went ahead and started just killing things because I wasn't paying attention, so I'll show you how to do it correctly. So take two, here we go, we're going to talk to the guy. The guy, click on the star, there you go. Takes it to missions, you can choose to do the missions, you have to complete them all, when you complete them all you can fight a boss. After that, you'll probably be high enough level, you can move on to the next zone. You can see there are two different characters in this alley here, and they seem to get along okay, even though they shouldn't. And you can choose to either be a good guy or a bad guy. And if I'm a bad guy, I go talk to the other NPC. So good guy, talk to this guy. And you can see right now I'm using a gun. There is an inventory system, you can equip different items. For the most part, at this level, it's all just kind of click on a guy, get close, and let your auto attack do the work. You can unlock powers eventually. I haven't yet. Missions seem to be pretty linear and straightforward at low level. They're all just different fetch quests using the same monsters in this area. It's got about four or five different zones. And then when we're done, the, the school back there, we can go into the school and that'll have the boss. The first zone probably takes about... Well, it took me like half an hour, but that's because I spent ten minutes grinding before realizing how to do the quests. I'm going to kill him. You can see you get XP... And also we're working on our quest objective too. Kill time pretty reasonable, not too fast, not too action-packed. Ooh, we got an item. Let's go see that item. So, yeah, I want to keep it. I don't want to just drop it. Go to my inventory over here. It's missions. Inventory. And now you can see everything I'm wearing, including my costume. It's got some basic equipment, level 1. And then I got a sword. It's level 2. And I also have a level 4 gun, so when I get to level 4 equip that so I'm three right now I got a little ways to go it looks like I just hit three decent amount more damage suddenly now I'm smacking people with a, a green sword and after you complete your mission you head back to the starter area and you can turn your quest in this area right here this little town basically a circle around Main Street. You just kind of go around the circle and there's different zones. You can see the arrows in the corner that tells you where I'm doing. Missions, you can click on here and complete. Gives me a bonus, so I can take and choose which skill I want. I'll take Mind Blast. There we go, now I have Mind Blast. Didn't see how to actually use it yet, but probably uh, something I uh, could figure out easily enough and then do the next mission and just keep going through these missions until I complete all of them again you can choose to be a good guy bad guy whatever you want and you go through and complete the area 
And after you're done, you get the boss, and then you just kind of move on. Pretty much traditional RPG format. For the game check out, it's available for free, playable in a browser. If you like the content, stay tuned to more from MMO Play. Thanks for watching. Apparently, I'm about to go do a public service.